Hi, my name is Ray Maor. I am a breatharian and a teacher of uh, breatharian initiations. I also give lectures and workshops on different consciousness uh, subjects, you can say. Today, I would like to talk to you about longevity and anti-aging. There's many things that I learned during my breatharian experience about longevity, meaning having more life and not necessarily becoming older faster, but stretching life, getting more years. The first thing I learned is about caloric restriction. Most people don't know this, but the fact that we eat uh, so much, or we have three plates a day, and the average plate in the Western society has just gone bigger and bigger, is really not good for us. The body doesn't use most of what uh, is, goes inside, it uses just a little bit. And then it needs to detoxify itself because there's so much things that are coming in. It's not that just the physical food, it's the energy of the people that move the food, it's the carbon dioxide emissions of the trucks that moved it from one side to the other. There's many things. That's why many people do a cleansing. But the cleansing once a year, it's not really a cleansing. What you should do is a frequent cleanse, like once a week, one day, only on water. And why do we do that? Because caloric restriction enables the body to use its resources much better. If we take an example, like a numerical example, and we'll take the studies they did on rats. So there's a group of rats that have 200 calories a day approximately, and the subject group, which are given one day zero calories and another day 400. So it's zero, 400, zero, 400, and this group gets 200, 200, 200. Seems they get exactly the same average, but they proved that this group of rats actually lives 30% longer. That's two days for every week longer and they have considerably less disease. Why is that? It seems that there's two genes that are activated. They make all the body work much more efficiently. Why? Because the body sees that it's not getting energy from outside, but it knows it has all the energy it needs from the inside. There's fat, there's tissues, there's prana, there's water, there is breathing. It gets everything it wants is already here. So it starts cleaning itself and making itself more efficient. So during that day that they're on zero, the body actually has the time to clean itself much more than the other day that it's usually using most of its energy to process the food. And if we get used to this, meaning we make one day a week of just fast, 24 hours, water, no water, it doesn't really matter. When we get used to it, when we go beyond the things that feel bad, like the dizziness and the weakness, you will see that you're starting to age less. The second thing is that there was a study, a very f famous study that they made on centurions, people who have passed the age of 100. They wanted to see what all these people have in common. They saw three things. The first thing is that they didn't sleep much. Most of them on average slept five or six hours, something like that. The second is that they were a little bit indifferent, but not negatively indifferent, meaning they were happy. But they said, okay, we went through World War I, we went through World War II, nothing big is going to like get me out of my, you know, my senses. Like, I'm gonna be cool with everything that happens. And this comes to show that when we're a little bit indifferent, we would just say, everything is cool, everything is for the best. It makes our life longer. We are more calm, we are more peaceful. And the third thing is that they actually didn't eat much. Just like the Japanese have this amazing habit of eating until 80%, and you see that most Japanese, except maybe for the sumo fighters, they're very skinny and they look very much alive. They even look very young until an older age. Another few subjects is consciousness. What most people think is that once we pass the age of 30, ah, it's okay to grow a little stomach, it's okay to neglect the physical body, it's okay to stop exercising, and that's usually why they age even more. The consciousness has the ability to just tell the body, look, I want to stay young. I am young. Once you start hanging around with people that are younger vibrationally, meaning they are more happy, they are more ecstatic, they don't consider, they don't look at the age and say, okay, I'm getting older, I should get more wrinkles, I should get more white hair, but you stay active. Scientifically, 
our metabolism only changes 2% in every 10 years. It means that this uh, excuse that everybody is giving that, oh, I'm getting older, things are getting uh, heavier for me, that's, that's, that's all ball. That's BS. It's something that we tell ourselves because it's comfortable for us. Because we judge ourselves according to the surrounding environment, the society, our family, our friends. We should only compare ourselves to the best that we can be. If people start hanging around people that are lazy, obviously you'll become lazy because it becomes the standard. It becomes what you think about as normal. And this is why you see many people going around with the same outfits, going around with the same thoughts. You are unique. You are a unique snowflake. You can do whatever you want. If you wish to enjoy this planet for a longer time, then you already know. You have to treat the physical body and the consciousness accordingly. And the consciousness is really easy. Be in your present moment. Be in joy. See the positive things all around you. That will keep you in the present moment. That will extend your life. So, I really hope you enjoyed. If you've come so far, Please share this knowledge and, I don't know, make somebody change, just catch one sentence from what I said, embrace it and try to see if we can change many lives in this planet. If you want to see more videos, just search Ray Maor on Google or YouTube and Facebook. I'll get around to organizing them. <laughs> Namaste.